So the rules to this run are going to be that I cannot produce units and that I cannot produce buildings. I have to use the resources that I'm given at the beginning of the run to win. Uh, this mission's obviously going to be a joke. It's going to be a free win. And I'm going to try to complete as much of the campaign as possible. What's up? Instead of... I know that Davy Gunface did a similar run, but he tends to play just to finish the campaign. But I want to see exactly what is possible and where. And I'm interested in putting my own twist on things. Thank you, HLAP, for the resub. Yeah, <laughs> mission one is impossible. We're already doomed. So there's going to be a lot of thinking about exactly what we want to do, where and when. I'm going to try to incorporate some, like, adjusted speedrun strategies effectively for some of the missions. A lot of them, obviously, not possible. But I think I'm going to be able to pull out some edges just based off of my experience going fast. You know? Being the does stuff with 500 bits, thank you so much. Then it's time to call in that special delivery we talked about. All right, we have one. I do think this run is going to be interesting because it's going to change up what upgrades I want at various times. I'm really looking forward to that. Is there a world where vanadium plating is actually correct in this run? Maybe. Am I trying to shoehorn vanadium plating into every run? Absolutely. The firebat upgrades might actually... One thing I'm going to do is I have to look at all in, and I'm going to have to fully upgrade every single unit type that I get there, which I do believe involves the fire bat. So, fire bat upgrades. I definitely have to get marine and medic upgrades really quickly. I think that's the most important part, because most missions start you with those, right? What would be my plan for the dig? Uh, the dig seems like it's going to be one of those really fun missions that is going to suck really badly. I didn't think we could. I didn't think we could fight it either. Oh, firebats are not a starter unit on all in. Well, uh, I still need them because I want to do belly of the beast. I think, and there are firebats there that'll be helpful. I don't have to do anything here. I'm like sitting at this Thank menu being like, where's Swan? Why can't he upgrade my Marine? <laughs> the hardest part is going to be remembering to not build anything. That's fine. I guess I'm taking these with me. Hmm, how do I want to do this? more marines before we take on the dominion outpost train them up at the barracks while we're at it extra SCPs yeah they repair each other we got the repair cache train them up at the command center. Can't wait. Commander, the oh yeah go up there nice the so now we're gonna get the medics and the medics are gonna be huge those folks need our help tigers there's no way we're leaving them to rot you have a spreadsheet that shows what we start on each mission? It, yeah, could you share that? That would be incredible. So for this next part, I have an idea for the Hellions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to land my buildings. Welcome aboard, boys. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh, it didn't work. It's okay, they didn't kill anything. I'm being careful. So we're going to walk up to the Bunker of Death. And we're going to murder the Bunker of Death. Easy peasy. You can't call it a no production run technically because the production is absolutely helping. <laughs> Just not producing. Tanking those shots, my barracks.
Alright, I'm going to burn down the production structures first. I don't know why I was going after the depots. Just make sure that they can't build marines and we'll be good. Not that there's anything at this point they could actually win. Thank you, HLAP and uh, Vagrant, for the bits in the sub. Man, I want to stim. Okay, let's get some stuff burning. So it was a little slow, but I think we did good. And then we got to go to zero hour, which is... I assume zero hour is going to be easy, right? Am I going to do the second Zeratul mission where the objective is to build? I was thinking about that mission, and I might have a way to do it. Because the fun fact about that mission is it doesn't actually require you to build. That mission objective is fake. You can beat the mission. All you have to do is kill the three things at the end. So I might be able to get farther than Davy did just off of that. Uh, I just, what I have to do is somehow sneak one of the SCVs to that side of the map. What we got here? Nothing great. Let's get plus one. Because upgrades are allowed. Otherwise, this would be impossible. Mm, put these behind. I think the most important thing is to not lose anything at the beginning. I cannot get gas because I don't have a Vespine Geyser. That's actually really interesting now that I think about it. Even if I get auto gas, a lot of missions won't give me gas income simply because they don't start me with a geyser. I'm mining up so I can have repair money, by the way. And that's really important to me. Then my only units are going to be here, here, and here. Did I ever play the Odyssey custom campaign? I tried Odyssey, and from what I've been told, the beginning of Odyssey is by far and away the worst bit of it. So I'm going to have to sit down and actually dedicate some time to it. Isn't the bridge supply-based? Uh, the way that the bridge works, I talked to Synergy about this a long time ago when I was learning the speedrun. The way that that bridge works is it extends based off of a couple different... A couple different uh, triggers, and one of the triggers, I think, is mining like 1,700 minerals. So if you can mine with those initial six probes, you can eventually unlock it. Thought we were gunners there. Why not? By the numbers, boys. Cool, thank you. I appreciate that. I don't think it'll be useful today, but for the harder parts of the campaign, which will be this weekend, I think that'll be really useful. Starts by far and away the worst. So, yeah, I've heard good things about it, and I very much so intend to start playing some custom campaign stuff. Uh, I have had multiple requests from people to do that. And it sounds like a lot of fun. It's just one of those things... I have to, like, find a day for it and stuff, because right now my rotation is kind of co-op one day, then three days of a challenge run, and then where did my medic go? Did I not get a medic up here? That sucks. I agree with you, Cole Mitchell. I intend to go to All-In Air. Uh, because you start with three battle cruisers, I believe. And three BCs with uh, good repairing seem like they'd be able to deal with the all-in-air stuff. Except for maybe the Leviathan will be annoying. But we'll see. Oh, the medics are in group two and three. Cool. Can I use mules? Uh, I'll hold it to a vote, but I'm leaning to yes. Yeah, let's do a poll right now. M-U-L-E, yes, no. It doesn't really matter that much because um, 
<laughs> what is the mule going to do? It's going to mine me 220 minerals, and then I'm going to be like, wow, I'm rich. <laughs> and then I won't be able to use it. I'm pretty sure abilities are fine. Yeah. I think the basic idea of the run is just use what I have available at the beginning and be creative with it. Man, this mission is boring at the beginning. And the middle and the end. There we go. I can't lose anything. Yeah, it's currently 93 to 18, voting in favor of stuff like mules. So, I think that any ability that is already on my units is fine. So, it, like, morphing a CC to a planetary is fine. That sort of thing. Uh, Salami Black Zender and Acrocross, thank you guys for the... Oh, no! How could you do this, guys? Okay, we're safe. Well, that medic is really low. Please state the nature of your medic. I think the rules should just be written, I cannot pay money to make something new. Does that make sense? I think that should be like the one line statement of how the run works. If I am paying money to change something up, like to repair a bunker or morph a planetary, that's fine. If I'm spending energy to do it, that's fine because it's not building, it's not training. Just do not pay money to make new stuff. This better be good. You got it. Go, go, go. What's the policy on Mirahan? Oh, she's okay. She's kind of cute. She's a little bit creepy, though. Been waiting on you. That's what you meant, right? You can't have Mirahan as a waifu, though, because she belongs to Matt, and do not come in between their love. You're a bad person if you want to do so. Ravens or Science Vessel? You never start with either of them, so I can't build them, so it doesn't matter. Discovered my content not long ago, getting back into playing some casual single-player StarCraft and SC2. Planning on marathoning some Brutal. Any advice on the last three Heart of the Swarm missions? Of course. Use Kerrigan wisely. Kerrigan is incredibly powerful and should be at the forefront of your army almost always. Also, ability efficiency is really good. Like, it's so much better than the other options. Just get it. Uh... And Broodlords are overrated. That's the other thing. There's a couple trap units in that campaign. Broodlords are definitely one of them. But just make sure you build a good army and get a good economy before moving out. If you can make sure that you're saturated on two bases in all of those missions, you'll be fine. What about the free raven you can rescue on the first char mission? That is a good point. I forgot about that guy. The first char mission is going to be one of those annoying ones. I think that we go over and we rescue the guys out here now. I don't remember. Oh, nope. Get back behind. This little alcove thing actually works out really well. Because it forces them all to attack this really bad target, and if they try to run around, they take a really long path. I like that. Does the first char have enough units for the mission? I'm pretty sure it does. There's a lot of guys that come in the drop pods. I just have to be very valiant about making sure that I get them all. I can finally medic my medic, which is going to be a huge help. Thank you, Phoenix LP. Yes, sir. Huh? Yep. What's going on? Been waiting on you. 
job. Can't wait. Big job, huh? In the rear. Okay, here and here. Go ahead. I think we're good forever. I mean, no, this mission can't be hard. It's literally impossible for this mission to be hard. The only time this mission is ever hard is if you're trying to do all of the achievements at the same time on Brutal Difficulty. And even that was very manageable. It's just the not losing a building one that can be kind of hard. Is under Remember those words when I say, when I do Wings Liberty Protoss Edition co-op? It's okay, I'll have Jay Brino working with me, and Jay Brino can just carry me through it. It'll be no problems whatsoever. Oh golly, this mission. Most important thing, if you ever want to just eke a little bit of value out on these defense missions, and you have a little bit of APM to spare, the best thing you can do is just target down Hydras with your bunker. Hydras do so much damage. They're way scarier than Roaches, they're way scarier than Zerglings. Uh, well, I guess Banelings are actually the number one primary target, but Hydras are number two. I did get my eBay upgrades, don't worry. I got my 1-1 one -one Marines. That are ready to fight against the 45 Zerglings that come at the end of this mission. You gonna give me orders? This better be good. Yeah, Hydras do a surprisingly large amount. I guess it's not that surprising how much they do. They look like they should do a lot of damage. I think that a lot of clever building positioning is going to be required for this, like uh, lifting off and landing my structures in clever ways, and leaving openings like this instead of full walling. So this could actually be a very good experience to learn about AI pathfinding and stuff, because I think it's everyone's natural instinct to, like, I want to seal this so badly. But in reality, it works out pretty well because of the hu it's like playing a tower defense, kind of where you don't want a full wall, but instead you want to make the path as long as humanly possible. Playing zero hour TD. All right, let's get these guys to repair. I'm gonna put the medic on hold here. And then only control the marines. That way the medic can heal the SCVs, the SCVs can heal each other, SCVs keep these alive, and then I just have to focus on the marines. I, want, I might want to empty the bunkers. I don't think it's too big of an issue, but it's definitely worth thinking about if there's problems. One thing is the bunkers can snipe hydras, though. And I think that that power is more important than not taking aggro on them. They all want to go after the medic anyway, I'm pretty sure. So what's happening is they're like, oh, I can't go here. Oh, a medic, and then they all go for it. Two minutes left. I have not played this mission being able to both kill things and not clearing the map in a really long time. I've actually forgotten how little they attack you with. Here we go. There's Hydra up there. Hydra right there. None this way, none this way. Base 
base is under attack. I'm thinking about going to the evacuation next. Commander, this is Matt Horner. Just hold on. And then just like spam repairing the APC as it kills mutalisks? It doesn't seem like a good strategy. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But there's no marines on that mission, which means I can get my medic upgrades first. Oh, I'm actually kind of getting my marines wrecked. Nice. That makes me happy. Base is under attack. Well, that was an easy start. Let's move on to the real campaign. <laughs>